Hey there guys, I'm finally restarting my cocktail note series. This time around it'll be less focused on music and more focused on the cocktails. The plan is that I'll be featuring a cocktail for four weeks. The first week will be called the Blueprint and that's the original cocktail. The second week will be a classic variation. So something that's been modified but it's been a classic cocktail as well but falls into the same category. The third one is called a modern twist and that's a version of it, an iteration that is from the last 15, 20 years, especially starting in the cocktail renaissance. And then the last version is um, my take on it, uh, my original recipe. So we're going to uh, be exploring that in this next season of Cocktail Notes. The first cocktail we're doing uh, is going to be the Old Fashioned. That's the most obvious choice because it is one of the most popular cocktails out there right now. Very straightforward, very simple, easy to make, and definitely my go-to cocktail when I go out to the bars. So sit back and enjoy, and here's a little lesson on how to make an old fashioned. Today we'll be making an Old Fashioned. An Old Fashioned is a cocktail that consists of three ingredients. We have a base spirit, which today we'll be using bourbon. We have a seasoning element, which oftentimes is bitters. Today we're using Bogart's bitters from Bitter Truth. And we have a sweetening element, which today we'll be using a sugar cube. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a sugar cube, add it to the bottom of the glass. So this drink is built in a glass. You don't need any extra equipment. Sometimes you'll see at bars, you'll see them use uh, simple syrup for this, but uh, this is the traditional way they would do it. Uh, we'll be adding bitters next, which oftentimes you will see uh, Angus store bitters as the big bitters use. Today we're using Bogarts, which is considered one of the oldest bitters ever. So we're gonna put a measured two dashes or so, maybe like two of this or a quarter bar spoon, I should say, into a glass on top of the sugar. And then next up, we're gonna add a little bit of soda water just to help break it down. And then we're gonna take our bar spoon, which I have a bar spoon that has a flat top. You can use that to muddle the sugar. Um, sometimes you can also use just a muddler, but I'm just gonna use this. Just kind of muddle it in, let it all combine. be good just to break it down next up we're going to do a measure of whiskey which is going to be two ounces or 60 milliliters then we're going to take our ice cube which i have this clear block right here I'm gonna put it in, and if it's a little big, it's okay. What you do is you spin it until it settles into the bottom of the glass. It's a little big, so when it's when it's all the way down, you just stir it. Just say for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. That should be good. What we're gonna do next. We're gonna garnish it. We're gonna take the peel of an orange. Okay. We're gonna take a peel of a lemon. We're gonna express the oils of the orange. Also express the oils of the lemon. When you have two peels like this, that's called having bunny ears. So here you have an old fashioned. Cheers. The whiskey cocktail was created in the early 1800s where bartenders would mix water and sugar into their whiskey to stretch it and make it more palatable. Over time with the influx of European products such as uh, Amaro's and liqueurs, Bartenders start to experiment by incorporating that into some of their drinks. Over time, patrons want to go back to the original whiskey cocktail, so they would order 
the Old Fashioned Whiskey Cocktail, shortened to an Old Fashioned. In the 1970s, bartenders started adding orange wedges and maraschino cherries to the bottom of their glass and they would muddle it with some sugar. This would give the, uh, the Old Fashioned a more sweet and fruity profile. And then around the uh, 80s and 90s, uh, whiskey kind of went out of fashion. So instead, vodka was taking over the market and the uh, Old Fashioned disappeared for some time. Uh, in 2000, we went through a cocktail renaissance. So the Old Fashioned came back even stronger. And now it's definitely one of the most popular drinks I'll see at a bar. Um, and it's definitely a go-to drink for a lot of people. So there you have it, a little history on the Old Fashioned.